Hey YouTube, what's up? Uh, long time no see, I'm back from offshore. And look what I had waiting in my mail at home. Uh, Gear Chronicle deck. Early, because if you've been following my channel, I do play Japanese meta and me and my friends get early decks. And I am super psyched about this. Cannot wait till February. I love this deck. Um, it's a lot of fun. Obviously, this is not the way I really want it. Because this is only trial deck with a few cards I pulled from the packs. I was lucky enough to pull one of these. But uh, other than that, yeah. Um, deck box from the Mega Trial deck. Really wish Bushy Road would do this in English. Um, sleeves. Um, I will tell you the changes I'll make when the the set actually gets released uh, in English. So I'll, right now, this is the deck I have from the trial decks with a few cards I pulled from the set. Uh, but on to the deck list. My starter is the only starter so far. Well, I think it's the only starter. Well, the only good one. So its effect is Generation Break 1. Uh, for all my English players that don't know what Generation Break is, I'm sure all of y'all have heard of Stride by now. But if not, Generation Break, it, um, Stride Units get are uh, essentially an extra deck like Yu-Gi-Oh. You have 8 cards, no more. You can have less though, but it max is 8. Um, they go face down, and when you use them, when you ride them, at the end of the turn, when they go back, they go back face up. And you cannot use a face up Stride. Although face up Stride is kind of like damage, where Limit Break is like, you know, how many damage you have. But this one is Generation Break, meaning if it, this is a Generation Break 1, so you have to have one face-up card in your stride zone, your G-Zone, as they call it. Um, G-Unit? <laughs> yeah, no. Um, so essentially, if you have Generation Break 1, Soul Charge, search your deck for a Grade 3 Gear Chronicle, add it to your hand, and shuffle. Uh, essentially, add any Grade 3 you want. Really nutty. Um, for Grade 3s... I am playing four Chrono Jet because uh, it's again this is a trial deck, but even when the deck does come out, I'll still be playing four of these. So four Chrono Jet Dragon. His skill is Generation Break. Generation Break two. This ability. Um, Generation Break two. When this card attacks until the end of battle, this gets plus, I think, 5,000? Yeah, plus 5,000. And your opponent cannot call grade ones or higher to the Guardian Zone. So it has the Maelstrom effect, the glory effect. Um, its regular effect is auto Vanguard Counterboss 1 during the turn in which you stride on top of this card. Uh, pay the cost if you do choose one of your opponent's rear guards and put it at the bottom of their deck. Uh, very good. Uh, it's also an 11k, so, yeah. So, for the other part of grade 2, these are almost definitely coming out um, for the Legion. No, uh, for Fate Wheel Dragons. Uh, maybe the Legion, but I'm liking Fate Wheel better. But this card's effect is... Generation Break 1, this card gets plus 5,000 or 6,000. I think it's 6,000 until the end of battle. Yeah, plus 6,000 into the battle. And it's Counter Blast 2. When this card is placed on Vanguard, choose one of your opponent's grade 2 or less rear guards and place it at the bottom of their deck. Since the theme here, yeah, it's all that's what Gear Chronicle does. So, uh, since I only got one Mega Trial deck, um, and I accidentally ordered two regular Trial decks, I only meant to order one Mega and one Trial deck, but oh well. Um, when the set actually comes out, I'm playing four of this. It's just too good of a card. Its effect is Soul Blast 1. When this unit attacks... Um, I think it's when it attacks. It's not an auto effect. No, active effect. It's Soul Blast 2... When this unit attacks, pay the cost if your opponent do no. That's the wrong card. There we go. Counter, okay. Counter bus two. When this unit is placed on Vanguard Circle, pay the cost if you do. Choose one of your opponent's grade two or less rear guards and put it at the bottom of their deck. Sorry, I was thinking of the other grade two, which is a uh, 
your opponent can't call grade zeros to guard. Uh, very good card. It's essentially a blaster blade um, that uh, puts it at the bottom of the deck. Uh, it's very good. Huh. Why does it say plus 5,000 power, though? The the website I'm using translate it wrong? Wait, that also says Soul Blast, not Counter Blast. What the fuck? Uh, hold up, guys. For some reason, this is not right. Um, one second. I need to check this. Chronicle. All right. Sorry, my ticks are a little bad today. Hold on, hold with me, guys. Bear with me for a second, please. I'm uh looking it up on my computer real quick. Grade two. No, that's not right. Well, I really can't find what he does right now, but I'm not going to take long with the video. Y'all can look him up if y'all want to. I thought he was kind of about to put on bottom, but I guess I'm wrong. I think it's Soul Blast 1, give it power um, when this attacks, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but, for this card right here, uh, Grade 2, 9k, this card's effect is Generation Break 1, and this unit is boosted. Um, when this unit is boosted, attacks of Vanguard is boosted, pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your points, grade two or less, and put it at the bottom. So that's what that does. This card is your 12k attacker if you're at generation break one. And then since I don't have more of the tiger, I am playing two 10k vanillas. Um, if I had more of the tiger, I'd be playing that. Um, one of these, Soul Blast 2 draw card, again, I'd be playing two of this if I had it. And then this card is, reveal a grade three in your hand, um, and search your deck for a Chrono Jet Dragon, and then discard any card from your hand. Very good, again, I'd be playing two, maybe three of those. Um, four perfect cards, when this set comes out, I'll be changing it for the other perfect card, but yeah, and... For now, that's that. By the way, common perfect cards look really stupid. Um, for a 10k attacker, if you're at generation break 1. For 8ks, these are coming out for the grade ones I mentioned earlier. For triggers, I am playing 4 of the soul charge plus uh, 3,000. I'm playing four of this. When the set comes out, two of these will be coming out for crit triggers. Uh, four crits. And obviously four heals. For my um, G, uh, G unit cards, I'm playing one of the most broken cards in the game. Which is Interventional Dragon Chronos Command Dragon. Choose up to one choose one or more cards with e with uh either the sums of being greater oh that's just stride, yeah. Counter Blast 2, Soul Blast 1, choose one card from your hand and discard it. When this unit attack it's a Vanguard, you pay the cost. If you do, your opponent puts all of his or her rear guards at the bottom of the deck in any order. Uh, essentially, it's a board wipe. It's very good. Uh, very, very, very good. 
Um, I'm playing four of these at the moment because I don't have more of this guy. Obviously, I'd be playing four of this. Uh, but he's not bad. His effect is counter boss one when this unit attack hits a vanguard. You may reveal the top four cards of your deck. If there is are four or more cards with the revealed name with different grades, pay the cost. If you do, you get an additional turn. Uh, shuffle your deck afterwards. Uh, one of this guy, don't ask me to say what it, it does. I really don't remember. I almost never go into him. He's a generic stride unit. I really don't fucking remember what he does. Uh, I think it's Counter Blast 1. If you have a Generation Break 1, it gets plus 10k. Uh, and when it attacks, it gets like plus 2, I think. It's essentially just a huge bead stick, if I remember correctly. Um, and then two of these for now. But the last three, these two and that other one are coming out, obviously, when the set comes out. But that's the deck, guys. Sorry it took a while. Um, please rate, comment, subscribe, and peace.